Hey everybody. We're gonna do a fun little experiment that came up because of some discussion that happened during one of our live YouTube videos. So before we go any further, listen to this. Look, I know it's not a scientific experiment. I just wanna get a general idea for where the deer might go, which salt lick is going to appeal to them the most. Whether or not this is going to be the same salt lick your deer like, or whether or not this gives any good example on which one they do like, I can't tell you. It's just a fun little thing to try out. So here's what we're going to do. If you've ever bought any salt blocks, then you know that these big 50 pound blocks are about $8.50 to $10, maybe depending on where you live and which one you're getting. But those little tiny blocks, those little bricks that are specifically for deer, they're about $4.50 a piece and it's only a four pound block. So it's a lot more expensive to get those little ones. So I went online and started trying to do some research and nobody agreed. Some people said that the salt block, the plain salt block is the best attractant but has no nutritional value. And then there were discussions, let's call them that, about whether or not certain mineral blocks did better for the health of the deer. So we're just trying to answer one question, which one will the deer actually go to? Which bowl of cereal is Mikey gonna eat out of? So here's the lineup. We've got plain salt. This one here is, the brand is called Ranch House. It is an apple deer block. It is salt, calcium, trace minerals that are apple flavored. Here we have a standard sulfur block. Here we have a standard trace mineralized salt block. Uh, again, Ranch House brand. And then down here on the front row are expensive little bricks. We have Buck Liquors Sweet Acorn. Then the yellow one is Buck Liquors Sweet Corn and Molasses. And the last one on the red, uh, the last one on the end, the red one, is uh, by the brand Wild Game called Sugar Beet Crush. So this is what we're gonna try out. We're setting up a trail cam specifically to watch just this and see if we can find out by the end of the season, which one my deer seem to be the most interested in. And then we'll know what to go on from here. So I took the investment of giving this a try so that maybe in the future you can make a better decision on which one of all these different kind of blocks you should try. So if you wanna leave your 10 cents with the caveat I've already given you, leave them down in the comment below because some of you may have already tried this before, but I wanna try it for myself. If it's your first time being with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button up there in the corner and look for this little I button up here as well. That's where there's going to be a link to the playlist for all the things happening here in the deer field. So if I've already posted the follow up, you'll see it up there where that little I pops up. And I'll also leave a link down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.